Hi friends, it's Miss Tori and I'm here to read with you a fun book called On Beyond Bugs, All About Insects. Who's this on our cover? Cat in the hat. All right, let's begin. I'm the cat in the hat and I'm glad that I found you. Right now, if you look, you'll see insects around you. They live in the water, the earth, and the sky. Just wait and you'll soon see an insect go by. There are millions of them. I will show some to you. Your mother will not mind at all if I do. Most insects you'll meet have hard shells and light eggs. They have wings and can fly, and they have six legs. We see a ladybug and a grasshopper, a black ant, a butterfly, and a praying mantis. If you look at an insect up close, you will see that it's body parts and each insect has three. First the head and then the thorax and here at the end is the longest part, which is called the abdomen. Insects cannot see all the things that surround them, so they each have two feelers to touch what's around them. Here are the feelers. An insect has feelers on top of his head. Some look a lot like a thin piece of thread, while others look much more like feathers instead. The spittlebug sits and he spits out a bubble. It's wet and it's cool. It can save him from trouble. For when he's all covered in bubbly foam, if a hungry bird comes, he thinks nobody's home. Here's a riddle I learned from my mother. How is a skunk and a ladybug like one another? When danger is near, it is easy to tell they suddenly give off a terrible smell. These busy insects are my favorite friends, the ants. They like to eat seeds, other insects, and plants. Ants are so strong they can lift things that way over 10 times their weight and they do it all day. So if you were as strong as an ant, you would see you could lift up 10 ants in tall hats easily. Watch these honeybees and I'm sure you'll agree that these bees are as busy as busy can be. Worker bees collect food and they keep their hive clean. They protect it from danger and wait on their queen. She must stay in one place. It is her job to lay dozens and dozens of eggs every day. What does a bee say? Buzz. When a bee has discovered where food can be found, she goes back to her friends and starts dancing around. First she wiggles, then she waggles in circles, and so all the other bees know which direction to go. We can grow lots of flowers with help from the bees. They store dust from each flower in the back of their knees. The dust is called pollen, next flower they find. When they land on it, they leave some pollen behind. This is called pollination and it makes the new seeds. They grow even more flowers, which everyone needs. Some insects I know can be unwanted guests. Fleas, flies, and mosquitoes can really be pets. Fleas live on cats, dogs, rats, hamsters, and mice. Their bite is quite itchy, which isn't too nice. But they're wonderful jumpers, why if we were fleas, we'd jump over a house and we'd do it with ease. Have you ever wondered, why does a fly buzz? Well, it beats its wings fast, and each time that it does, its wings make a sound you can hear in your ear, and this sound lets you know there's a fly flying near. I don't think mosquitoes are very polite. When they're hungry, they land and they sting with a bite. But it's only the female mosquitoes that do. Male mosquitoes will never come bothering you. Caterpillars do something you might think is strange. They start out as one thing, then one day they change. Some spin a small house on a branch just like this. And this is the home that they make called a chrysalis. If you watch it, you'll see when a few weeks go by, it turns into a beautiful new butterfly. It's just like our very hungry caterpillar book. On a warm summer evening, you may see the light of fireflies flashing off in the night. They're like tiny flashlights that float in the sky, and if you want to catch them, it's all right to try. 
Use a jar with a lid, watch them glimmer and glow, then open the jar up and let them all go. All day and night, on the ground, in the air, insects are moving around everywhere. It's important for us to keep learning about them. The world that we know couldn't go on without them. The butterfly, ladybug, ant, and bee make everything better for you and for me. The end. What a super fun book all about insects. I hope you enjoyed, friends. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.